Hi guys, Saturday the 9th of October 2021, it is time for a vlog, it is time to go once again towards Peraga shop as uh, last season and today uh, unluckily it is uh, cloudy and a little windy, I don't think it will rain but who knows. <laughs> I have uh, 25 miles at 40 kilometers to do before getting there and it is uh, 17 degrees outside Celsius or uh, 60, 62 Fahrenheit. Uh, so not the perfect day to have a trip but uh, anyway I needed to go there. Uh, last season I went there two days after the opening of their department store. Uh, today it is a Saturday so they opened last Sunday so they had a long week to perfection their department I don't think it will be in the same condition as last year uh, in plain uh, construction still in plain construction and uh, Covid is not like like last year last season uh, so it will be a little more crowded I think than last season but uh, let's do the trip and I want to show you the department their department once again because they change every year they depart the, the Christmas department still plenty of uh, Lemax and uh, um, Louisville and everything uh, concerning uh, um, nativity cribs uh, and etc but uh, so also many new things I, 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 I hope at least uh, because I haven't seen it obviously and uh, Let's start a little of music <laughs> during my trip, my uh, 40 kilometers, as I said, 25 miles of highway, then uh, let's go. And I'm here in the parking lot of uh, Peraga, P-E-R-A-G-A. -E it is a physical store and an online shop uh, for Italy and for Europe, mm, unluckily not for the US or other countries, I think, mm, maybe, yes, I think, I should verify it. Um, and I prefer arriving here during lunchtime because there will be less people inside and I will be free to film and comment whatever I want or I need without disturbing anyone. Um, and I will need to wear my mask because even if uh, uh, vaccinated and even if uh, um, COVID emergency here in Italy is uh, uh, slowing down, masks are still mandatory inside every shops and the stores. Okay, so sorry for that. And. Uh, not raining no it's not raining and it's not sunny obviously uh, so let me bring my mask and uh, let's go inside hi guys so it is a little more crowded than last season obviously there is no more covid emergency so uh, i will have some difficulties to film everything and report to you everything uh, because I don't want to disturb anyone, okay? The, in Italy is not like in US or other countries where you are able to film without uh, no one telling you anything. So here we go, and I will switch and I will start with the 
pretty section here yes, as last season. Let's see what I can show you. Let me start with the <laughs> with the main attraction as always in here, and it is as always the little Christmas villages they build each season. And I will start from here. Okay, let's hope to let you see everything. Let's have a look from the downstairs. I hope you can hear my voice this year. I'm using a different type of mic this year. So this is the attraction, the amusement park, I think. All the attraction, all the movements, all the sounds and sights. Sound and sights attraction right here. The giant wheel, uh, the, the fairs, uh, the, the circus there, down there. There is also the circus down there. Uh, the fan house here and uh, everything else they have uh, reserved here for the <laughs> for the amusement park section here and all the little uh, shops all the little stores down in the back there and fireworks down there also and so rafters uh, <coughs> the spinning snowflake uh, classics attraction from Lemax with the stairs okay also they use a huge amount of stairs there and there's some figurines also and as always <coughs> i don't like the landmarks or any of the street lamps they use because they don't make too much too much uh, light and also the beer factory down there in the back there is a classic beer factory Okay, and the giant tree here, the giant tree and everything else, okay? Uh, here in the front, I haven't shown you here in the front, but it's not very lighted, so I don't know if it is clear when I will show you this on the web. Ah, uh, yes, this is better. So also here... This is a shore, I think. There is a boat down there, okay? The boat down there. A church here? No, this is not a church. No, this is a boat shore there. Uh, and uh, not very lighted. They use uh, a blue light there to simulate the water here. Uh, yes, a little too dark this season, okay? They have made something a little too dark. A campfire there with some uh, uh, with some people in something on the grill there. Maybe some fish, etc. Some reindeer and uh, attractions here and there. And uh, uh, yes, this is, that is uh, almost uh, beautiful there with the reindeers and etc it is the cuckoo makers the cuckoo clock makers absolutely beautiful there <coughs> and yes uh, and as always the effect that uh, uh, buildings from uh, uh, santa's wonderland are making the translucency of the light because they are <laughs> polyrazing and not pla and not porcelain, so the lights uh, get through the walls. I don't like that effect on the buildings, but hey, uh, we can't avoid having some buildings from uh, Santa's Wonderland. So it is how it is done. Uh, some I don't recognize that that one there. I haven't seen it before. Okay, I still need to investigate on that and uh, yes uh, and from the other side on the top level a lake there they have put a lake there and also santa's are going over and over around with their <coughs> reindeer sleigh and all the balloons are there all the uh, flying balloons are there i don't like when the balloons are getting just around 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 forever okay and uh, the clock tower there, very beautiful. Uh, I have seen it uh, many times. I am thinking of buying to the, the clock tower, the red clock tower that is there, okay? Uh, right there, that clock tower there. But, uh, uh, okay, also the reindeer training center down there, the barn that is there. 
and obviously the big uh, observatory, the big North Pole Observatory, another classic there, and uh, a big giant uh, and color changing flashing colors uh, for the big uh, icy trees there. <coughs> Let's go here. Here it is the spooky section, the spooky town collection there. Also uh, similar to uh, the other season here. This is new, I think. The pit pendulum. <laughs> yes. <coughs> a spooky, a spooky terror. Giant wheel there, the um, the ghost house there, and everything else. I don't know if you can hear the sounds and uh, very very or <laughs> or <horror> sounds, <laughs> but this is a spooky town and this is almost absolutely just for Halloween uh, period. So between uh, now and the end of October and uh, the cave down there. Tower here, the tower. It's a pity that they haven't lighted it some more because they need to be seen in one light all these buildings. Anyway, okay, the skeleton there, the skeleton car there, and some skeleton uh, um, funeral there. Okay, the band is the rock band, the spooky rock band, and etc. here. In the corner, some other attraction. I don't like uh, the spooky town collection simply because it is too short to have a spooky section or a spooky village. Just for some weeks, uh, I like to have to work on something that can <coughs> be standing for almost five or four months. So four or five months. So I don't like it here. <coughs> Let's go from the other side. Obviously here all the figurines from uh, every collections. Uh, yes, from every collections here. So classic figurines from Lemax here. From this side, okay. I think that this is the veil collection here. Yes, the skin corner uh, with everything concerning the skiing and so mountain cabins, etc. <clears throat> big mountain on the background there uh, they used the, the blue spotlights to have some uh, some lights in there and some movements there in the uh, on the um, on the attraction there uh, I think it is broken but because this little man should have going around 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 with uh, went the wild skin <coughs> and also here some uh, uh, cabins some houses from Vale collection if you are a fan of these kind of attractions this is perfect also the mountain there the green mountain they use the sun paper to simulate that <coughs> And this is the other side from uh, Santa's Wonderland collection and all the buildings. Uh, I have that one, I think, yes, the elf uh, toy, um, toy uh, factory. I will <laughs> put it in my uh, village this year. And this is absolutely perfect from last, uh, last uh, season collection, the Nutcracker factory there. Very beautiful. And Letters to Santa, this is new from the 2021 collection, also with movements inside. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, I got a terrible cold. And this is new from 2021 collection. I was saying it is very big, but it is very, very big. Uh, so, <coughs> the Toys Factory there and uh, some other things. Uh, I think they miss some of the buildings from this collection. I don't see the uh, the Klaus uh, home, the Klaus chalet here. No, I don't see it. So they miss some of the buildings from this collection. But almost everything is here. <coughs> I don't think you haven't seen this. 
meet the helicopter and um, on the plane <laughs> circulating over the head of uh, Santa's and uh, little helpers there and uh, also the icy skate pond, uh, skating pond there <coughs> on the be um, to, um, beside the base of the North Pole Observatory there but the, I think this is the main attraction for this collection this here it is almost I think 40 centimeters by 30 centimeters very huge it is absolutely very huge oh, sorry I need to take my caddy and then obviously Caddington collection here as always the magnificent sea of Caddington collection they use the <coughs> many squares places the fountain here we not working they haven't uh, <coughs> filled it with water so it is not working uh, some of the little uh, <coughs> the little uh, houses there and then the clock tower this I think I will <coughs> buy this year this is from this 2021 collection <coughs> absolutely beautiful with the uh, ribbons with the uh, mistletoe wreath there and the uh, red bows uh, also here it is the old main uh, train station there and everything else this also it is from this uh, season collection from 2021 collection and all the stairs so they have used the one two three four five levels here a total of five levels one two there three four and five levels here on the on the ground uh, <coughs> market section here with some shops around going around from right to left and some of the figurines etc so they use uh, some facades all uh, all along the back wall there are some facades and uh, this is uh, absolutely perfect for a mini mini village so even with just uh, 20 centimeters of space here 20 centimeters of space <coughs> they have made <coughs> a good uh, level there opening here towards this square with some <coughs> tiny buildings <coughs> uh, class confectionery uh, then uh, the uh, chocolate uh, <coughs> A chocolate shop there and everything else so this is a good use of little space i think down there the big the big cathedral that it is a master for the cardinal collection <coughs> and still very low lighted so i don't think i will never go with some lamax street lamps because they don't do a very a very 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 good amount of light so this is absolutely perfect if you are into Caddington villages and the figurines I don't think I have seen some of the new figurines here and there no it's still maybe I don't see them because it is too dark but they are supposed to have also new figurines for this 2021 season but Caddington collection as very little new items this 2021 season uh, just a few interesting buildings and just two or three figurines from uh, this uh, collection here <coughs> sorry again for my voices i have a problem okay i think i made the tour of the six mini villages there so let's go with the main buildings there So all the skating ponds there, okay, yes, all the skating ponds, we have the hockey pond there, skating, okay, San the Santa's <laughs> skating there, this is good for uh, the Santa's Wonderland the corner if you want it, pen pen penguins uh, and Pora Bears and Mr. and Mrs. Uh, Santa's skating on the North Pole. <coughs> I said pond there. Frozen pond, sorry.
So everything here from the for cable cars, if you like having cable cars, this is all for the <coughs> veil uh, collection of uh, from Lemax. So all ambiented in modern uh, modern times. So not very suited for Caddington. Obviously, there uh, weren't uh, cable cars at that time, but they are very detailed here. Also, just uh, seeking cars. These are uh, cables and all, all sort of cable cars, and uh, <coughs> obviously a very high price. I think this is 100 euros, and each of the cable cars is 30 euros. I think I will have to suppress some of the music because otherwise I will be copyrighted there. But anyway, these are the most, those are just the facades, I think. Yes, this is the corner for facades there. The pandemic <laughs> comas and it almost had some problems last season, so I mean, yes, this music will absolutely, of course, need to be copyrighted. This too is from the 2021 collection, I think, yes, I've seen it <coughs> online. <coughs> this too, <coughs> the, this cottage too is from 2021 collection. <coughs> Obviously I will not show you everything they have here, because otherwise I will pass the entire weekend here. <coughs> But they are absolutely magnificent. All the buildings here are magnificent. <coughs> thousands of thousands of thousands of euros or <laughs> USD if you want to buy Claire's confectionery down there. I have Claire's confectionery. So a mix set of uh, new uh, buildings, uh, 2021 uh, collection buildings, and also all the buildings from uh, last, from past uh, collections there. Okay, let's go this way through. Table accent here with all the <coughs> all gathered around the Christmas tree there, and also some uh, train sets. As I've explained uh, in my uh, tutorial, why I prefer and uh, not using this kind of uh, uh, train set there because they are too short, too little. The scale is not suited and they are not um, powered by AC adapters but just by uh, AA batteries or AAA batteries so I don't think they are very well suited. Even if they are very well designed, they have uh, an absolutely perfect design near a trolley there. So some train set, all the train set from Lemax, this one is uh, the... Uh, <coughs> Um, the more styled uh, one, this is the classic train set from Lemax, so they have all the train set from Lemax. I haven't seen other train set. Last season they had also other train sets, but I can't uh, see them right now. And then some uh, mountain base, some base for your Christmas villages there. Some other buildings here. And the collection is infinite there. I can go through there, up down there, and then another row here, and then another row. One, two, three, four rows, infinite. And I think they have also some other buildings in some storage <laughs> behind the scenes, because they have just two or three items for each building here. Yes, I was thinking there, you know, uh, obviously they put new there when it is new here. 
50 euros for the um, for the um, clock tower yeah this is new absolutely beautiful also this this one is from the 2021 20, collection and it is part of the newest buildings with the possibility to have some <clears throat> steam coming out from the chimney there from the chimney there they, you will have, not with this effort because it will be just a pure straight stream going up 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 this is fake this is only for uh, for image there so these are sounds the only problem is, is that the switch on switch off uh, uh, button for the chimney there is placed on the side not on the back so <coughs> it's a little bit disturbing <coughs> <coughs> so these two is from the 2021 collection uh, the Savoy there okay I think this is the Savoy yes the Savoy the big the Grand Hotel Savoy there this is not from uh, this year uh, collection, but I think they are placed here some of the main, yes, another new from this year, new collection here, and uh, this one too, this is a Christmas shop, I think, yes, and also this building here have uh, the characteristic of having some steam coming up, so he will need to fill the reservoir of, uh, uh, with water, then it produces some <clears throat> some uh, steam there simulating the smoke coming uh, up from uh, coming out from the chimney there but uh, i don't think uh, i i don't know uh, i am a little septic about those buildings there because i think i will have to refill the reservoir <coughs> each day so if i place it in a place and not to um china ball uh, maybe in the middle of the layout I will have difficulties to refill the reservoirs. The Agnog factory there, okay, some classics there, and everything else. Those buildings are always the biggest one, yes, this is from last season, and uh, the Victorian Christmas Carol there with all the, um, all the figurines getting around, so they come um, from the backside and they go, they circle around the trees there uh, with the music of the Christmas carol there. So this is the effect there. So the blue ones are the giant box, uh, giant boxes, yeah. This one too is from last season collection, okay. So the Nutcracker, the woodwork, Nutcracker, so the Nutcracker factory there. And this one is new, yes. We have just seen it in the veil collection there, with all the people skiing around the <coughs> the hotel there. And this is the one I was uh, talking to you, the cuckoo clockworks. So this is a, a cuckoo clock uh, a factory there with sound and sight. So there is even music. And there is even a song, so there is the clock is turning. Obviously, this is not a real clock, and you have music and movements because these two little figurines are going left and right. Sorry, you haven't, you haven't seen. It. So these figurines are going left and right, simulating the cut of the big tree there. So every single one of the new buildings from this 2021 collection are present here. And let's continue with something else. Okay, all the figurines there from every single one of the collections. So you can... <clears throat> You can choose whatever you want. Some more bases here on the ground. There are some more bases as always. I think if they have made the same thing as last season, that the newest figurines will, will be here on the uh, right side. But I don't see them. I will need to, to check. Obviously, right now I haven't my glasses with me. 
but I will take some moments for me to check and uh, see what I need to buy. So every single one of the figures, obviously the most recent one, the rare ones, you won't find them here. <clears throat> Okay. So here, all the uh, attraction, all the movement attraction, uh, you have just seen in the uh, in the in the little uh, Christmas villas I have shown you with all the attraction here, all the single one, all the biggest one. If you wanted to set your Christmas amusement park, you can do it right now. Let's go here from the last section here. So, I recognize some of the buildings of uh, Veil collection here, so Lemax Veil collection here. Yes, those are all Yes. So too modern for my Caddington set, my Caddington layout, but some are not. Maybe this one will not be anachronistic in my uh, Caddington setup. This one also, with some candies, and this is a ch chocolate factory model. The tendency with Lemax is to double or triple their buildings. You have a chocolate factory from uh, from Catinto Collection. This one is another chocolate. Uh, you can't uh, multiply the same uh, buildings with one single collection. Okay, now you can see that there is on practically nobody in there so they are gone everyone is gone to eat some lunch <coughs> i will eat my lunch and my dinner together this evening i prefer to be alone when doing some of these videos okay so these are very characteristic also if you want them but they are too modern for a victorian era uh, christmas village this one too Let's go again here, what we have, yeah, this is new from this year, this is an attraction, but judge, you can judge from the dimension of this box that this is a huge, absolutely huge uh, building there. It is uh, movement and sound, so it is from Sight and Sound Collection, and it is stated clearly what it is, it is a winter house a resort, we'll say. No languages there. As always, some other mountain background there. Absolutely, I will have to work <laughs> extensively on the audio of this video because with all the copyrighted music you are hearing, I don't know what I can do. Here once more, okay. Some other uh, attractions. Let's go from this side here. Table accents, yes. All the table accents from Lamax are here. Okay. I hope to see the new lights they had this year. Uh, the old strain of the. Um, or strain of the uh, cars. Uh, I don't see them right now, but this is absolutely standard classic uh, Lemax uh, table accents there. Okay, this is new. Obviously, they had a perfect idea to put a new uh, stickers there where you have something new, but this is not for. Um, for Cabinton uh, Villas collection, maybe yes, maybe not, I don't know. This one also is new, a little tent, a little ca family camping outside during Christmas times. Downstairs it is the, down there it is the same thing. 
and here too some other the swinging that's good classic this is also new but we have just seen it here what we are here the classic fountain there but you know it it's not new the giant uh, the giant uh, tree there the giant christmas tree with every light with led lights and also music because this is with music as you can see with the icon there and so on the beautiful carousel also this is a very beautiful carousel uh, it is a, it is indeed for cardinal collection but they made a big error <laughs> the uh, little um, boys and girls are dressed in two moderns uh, took too modernly okay uh, this is not suited for a Victorian era uh, setup okay so it's a pity because I'd like to have it in my village, but uh, it is too modern. <laughs> pink, uh, pink coats weren't that uh, common in Victorian era times. <coughs> okay. Let's continue with this section here. Yes, all the fashion is for lights. I will have to buy some of these because I need some spare ones, some light bulb, LED light bulbs. Then all the street lamps, all the spotlights, white spotlights, blue spotlight from Lemax and as adapters, fireworks, the moon. Yes, all adapters and LED. Small trees, these are the standard small tree, the cheapest ones, of course, that you need to have them. You can't simply buy, <coughs> sorry, strictly some and always some uh, priceless trees. Background, <coughs> this is um, a Dutch company uh, that um, produces backgrounds for your Christmas village, as you can see. I don't know if uh, they also have <clears throat> my background because I have the background from their collection but it is uh, not collection so different backgrounds there, mountains, <clears throat> a night background here, another uh, sunny mountain with plen plenty of snow, some trees there and the same trees there <clears throat> and another background there some little uh, snow bags there but uh, yes some snow and uh, some uh, figuring little figurines for the um, the cable the cable cars you just see there the, the cable cars there and those are the figurines that go inside the cable cars those one are the figurines that go inside the cable cars Uh, some material there, but I don't like it. And a collection of trees, obviously. Uh, a big collection of trees there. All the main trees, they are here. And they are here, all the main trees. Okay. So this is new. Lemma's Christmas market. I will surely buy some of them if they are not too modern. Because they help building or something and they are already lighted so i will try to but this one no because these are a too modern coat on top of it no i don't know they are good yes but not for Caddington village i need to to see okay because i like to have some uh, market in my uh, village okay uh let's go around the corner i think we'll have some other figurines yes We'll have some Louisville, I think, there. Yes, this is the Louisville corner with everything from Louisville. They have a, Louisville, it's not producing a big amount of figurines or buildings, but this one is a standard. One day I should have this. This is absolutely wonderful. These two. And this is new, I think. I haven't never seen it. The little boy with the giant snow pole there. Oh, wow. Look at this one. <laughs> 
Santa having a hot hot tub there <laughs> with uh, <laughs> a yellow duck, a yellow uh, uh, plastic duck <laughs> inside. So this is funny, very very funny. So they have something uh, very particular there, also the gates, but they are very expensive. Almost 40 euros for this one here. It's absolutely so. They you needed to spend almost 30 to 40 percent more than Lemax collection. They are uh, a Dutch company, obviously, but they are focused at least in Italy, uh, just with the figurines and no buildings. I have some of them for my C section, but it's a secret right now. I haven't told you anything. Some patio there. Yeah, this is beautiful, but too giant. Look at how wonderful it is here. Perfect for a Caddington uh, set here. Here it is missing someone there. So it is broken, this one is broken. And so it is, some of them are very, very, very beautiful. Ah, the beer here. Yeah, this is uh, <coughs> also <coughs> uh, the barrel uh, chariot there. It is absolutely fantastic. Uh, the reindeers I have already shown you last season. But this one, for I think almost 30 euros. It takes too much space, but it, they are absolutely wonderful. Okay, the new marching band from last season collection uh, up there, okay, and also here, <laughs> this is funny too, okay, some table accent that will complete uh, your uh, layout, but uh, you need to have the space to, uh, oh yes, <sighs> the queen visiting, okay. Absolutely wonderful. Oops, sorry, I don't want to break anything. Okay, and then some outside uh, bakery there with some oven, etc. This one is from last season collection, I think. Some bridges down there, some other patios there, but they are classic patios. More bridges and patios there. Yeah, this one, okay. Those one are from 2021 collection, two different types. This one, <coughs> very, very beautiful. Both of the slates are from this year collection, and also this one is very, very new. Okay, so three types of slates this year, absolutely wonderful. I don't think this, oops. I don't think it has a window so I can show you, but those one two are absolutely wonderful, okay? So 18 euros each one. This one too is absolutely wonderful. Look, the photographer joining for the first time a Victorian era village with the novelty, with the absolutely the outstanding um, camera machine there okay absolutely wonderful they have many many slates this year so this one too another band there okay some other bands and some other things so a very big amount of of things okay i don't know and those are the Lemax buildings. <laughs> this is funny too. <laughs> this is absolutely funny. Okay. And the same here. <laughs> absolutely fun. No need to comment. I, I know. I think. Okay. <clears throat> too, too small. Not in scale. Those one, two, not in scale. Those one, two, not in scale. So, a little amount of uh, of uh, this collection here. 
some more bluegills there. This is not Louvil. This is not Louvil, no. Those are absolutely no Louvil. Just those one are Louvil. Okay. Just those one are Louvils. And then the last one is the Spooky Town collection here. With all the horror for horror buildings and etc. for Halloween there. So. Let's go in details. If you love having a Halloween, a Halloween village, this is absolutely. Look at the details there. Look at the, how precise are the details. It is a collection just for a few days, not for the entire uh, Christmas season. The rip train. <laughs> this one also is not in scale with all the buildings. Spookiest trolley ever. The skeleton campfire there. The skeleton. Um, this is not a car, this is a mortuary car, I think. Yes, and this is the skeleton funeral parade there. Here. Picnicking at the graveyard, also <laughs> having some uh, <laughs> some free time and taking a bath sun on the graveyard, also <laughs> and the figurines from this collection too. Yes, all the figurines, not all the figurines, but some of the figurines. <coughs> Unluckily, uh, Halloween is not that eradicated here in Europe or in Italy, especially in Italy. So they haven't all the items from the spooky town collection here, okay? I think I made the tour here. For
So guys, <coughs> so guys, this is a Nativity Crib Christmas Village, okay? Ambiented in 2021 years ago, much or less, because of that little one there. So these are 2021 years. This is all cork wood, okay? This is all cork wood. Uh, you have some water features there, some caves. Obviously, there are something, some movements here and there. This is giant, but this is an example of how to build a nativity creed uh, Christmas village. Okay, all cork wood, absolutely all cork wood. Too giant. Obviously, you couldn't have a pizza 2021 years ago. This is anachronistic. Uh, flour, yes, but not pizza. Okay. So there are some bread also, but no, no fruits, no tomatoes by that time. There's some anachronistic uh, figurines here and there. But hey, here we go. Okay, so uh, ambience here is... Uh, Orient, pure Orient there. And all the section concerning this is uh, absolutely some, there are some masterpieces. Look at the price they have 180 euros almost. This is made in Naples, in south of Italy. Here we are in north Italy, but those are masterpieces from uh, masters of uh, nativity clips uh, figurines. Okay, a different scale, etc. But those are magnificent. Okay, <coughs> you can appreciate something even if you aren't involved in some of those uh, <coughs> villages.
and also they have some rock paper as you can see I don't like what I do. this brand here I think it is too too bright not enough dark but here it's just one euro each piece okay one euro but it is very common so it is here and everyone knows where to find it
back again in my car guys and I'm surrounded by cars uh, because right now inside it was very crowded and uh, obviously because now it is uh, 4 past 3 p.m. <laughs> so I've arrived at uh, half past 12 p.m. so I spent more than three hours inside the store and uh, finally I bought uh, just one building because I'm not very fan of the 2021 uh, collection not the uh, Caddington nor the other collection so uh, I bought obviously I told inside the, um, the clock uh, tower and then also a uh, slate uh, not precisely uh, you will see you will see because when I get home I will do <coughs> A little mini quick review of what I bought I will not do a full unboxing and a review of the building or anything else just show you what I bought uh, all of the items I will use yes I will use all of them in my 2021 uh, project <laughs> so in real time and now the sun also appeared behind the cloud so it's very hot inside i haven't uh, switched on the ac otherwise it will be very uh, noisy inside but i really urgently need to switch on the ac uh, ac sorry um so <clears throat> let's get back home and then i will do an update with you bye So guys, I'm at home and it is 15 past 5 p.m. and I've started this adventure at half past 11 a.m. So you can count on many hours. Uh, it took me to go there and back home and setting up this little uh, recap here. So uh, let's finish this vlog with a recap. Uh, I will start uh, with the uh, spare LED light bulbs. I bought uh, four of them simply because this was a good deal. And those are new generation of LED light bulbs, okay? Uh, with uh, plug in and on off switch there. Then there is also a multiplier cord with one input and four output, but, but most probably I will <coughs> cut. <coughs> each and single one of them and use them separately sorry for my voice guys but I still uh, got a terrible cold okay so this is the first thing I wanted to show you then I bought some uh, park bench because these are, uh, are never enough so I bought three uh, pairs of uh, park bench let me put them there then also five <coughs> packaging of uh, package sorry of uh, canal fences because you know they are they are my preferred fences uh, and i use them massively so uh, each year i bought some of them good now uh, what else i bought a couple of those trees okay Item number 74251, okay, uh, Lemax uh, trees are always uh, beautiful, uh, I, all, I already had uh, some of them, but uh, they aren't too uh, big, they aren't too small, uh, white, completely frozen uh, <coughs> trees, 
and I love them. So uh, when I can, when I remember, I bought some of them. Also, another uh, pr uh, of my uh, preferred trees are those one, and I bought also a couple of them. They are not the same because the, those are handmade, even if the item is the same, 64097, okay, and other tree. This is a, a completely a naked tree, but it is very, very useful because even if you have something uh, behind it, you can see through it without problems. Even for from an eight, you can see through it even from an eight. So um, it is a, a very good addition to any Christmas village and uh, it will not hide anything from uh, behind <clears throat> or from the top, okay? Couple of uh, trees there. Figurines. <clears throat> Plenty of figurines. Louisville. I couldn't avoid it to buy this figure. Uh, it is beautiful, romantic. It is not from Lemax, it is from Louisville. Kissing and goodbye. Romantic, absolutely. A plastic pose there. Uh, look at how magnificent is the pose there with l luggages, small luggage for the girl, um, biggest luggage for the boy there. Okay, so this is uh, not quite uh, contemporary with uh, um, a Victorian era village, but anyway. <coughs> First of all, the skirt is too short, but this is from a collection of Louisville. Uh, it is uh, between 1950 and 1960. So, not made in that period, but it is uh, set in 1950 to 1960. But I couldn't avoid, sincerely. Uh, not too modern, not too old in between. It will be a good addition anyway. This is... Uh, not uh, where I, <clears throat> I preach as concerning the rules of not going anachronistic, but this was too beautiful. Next, uh, um, next figure. This one is from 2021 collection. Fresh bread there. I don't know. I have a little elastic in there. I don't know why it is in there. Uh, maybe it is an error. I don't know. <clears throat> Lady going with the, uh, I don't know, uh, with the little um, bicycle cart there. And he says, uh, ride with, uh, I, don't, I don't think I, I will, I will tell you once I will open it. But this is from 2021 collection. Also, this figurine is from 2021 collection. The, um, the bicycle riding uh, chimney sweeper there. Lemax had already one um, chimney sweeper, but it, was, it, it is standing. This one is riding a bicycle. Uh, okay, so this is from 2021 collection. This also is from 2021 collection. The uh, little the lady that is selling some flowers, some roses, colored roses. This is pure Caddington uh, style. Uh, 2021 collection, also this one. Victorian couple uh, <laughs> sliding down a slope with, um, with a slide. With, uh, like. This is very beautiful, also very plastic and very di dynamic because you also have the scarf here going <clears throat> this way. So <clears throat> it, <clears throat> it gives you the impression that they are really sliding a slope. Okay, 2021 collection. Last of 2021 collection is the soap car there. Absolutely a wonderful baby. Um, not uh, uh, 1800 century, maybe first years of 1900 century, but it is still the Victorian era with the <coughs> with the guys here, with the four guys here riding the the soap car here, uh, a must from that uh, that time. Okay. 
some other figurines, those one are from 2021 collection. I couldn't get them last season, so I bought this here. Uh, one girl and two boys having a snowball fight. And look how <clears throat> the snowball hit this boy in plain head uh, uh, under the head. Very, very dynamic, uh, very dynamic trio there. I love it. Also from 2021 collection, this one, no, sorry, 2020 collection. Uh, also this one I couldn't find uh, last season. But uh, in front of some pub or some restaurants, it is a good addition with the server here, the couple uh, waiting for something to, to order. Okay, so this also is a good addition. Last figurine is this one it is from 2018 <clears throat> it is uh, late 1800th century or maybe first years of uh, uh, 1900th century uh, set mm, uh, simply because you can appreciate that the skirt once again is too short here but uh, mother and son with plenty of packages is typically uh, Christmas season spirit, so I like, I, miss, I was missing this figurine too. And that's all for the figurines. As concerning uh, the building, so I bought two buildings. This one, uh, it is gigantic, so I will put it right there. The uh, Tannenbaum clock tower, I can show you from the back, Tannenbaum clock tower. 2021 Lemax Incorporated, so from this year, I want at least a building from uh, each uh, uh, season collection. So this one was the only one that was uh, good enough because 2021 has been awful for artists that have uh, designed the new uh, collection, the new Cadillac collection. This one, I will not open it, I will not review it. Last item I bought, the photographer wagon with the photographer and the couple. Also, this one is from 2021. It is a very big uh, table accent here uh, with the horse training the uh, wagon, the photographer wagon. Those are still uh, also this one, but this was too typical, also with the uh, uh, post here, very, very, very in line with Victorian <coughs> era signpost and a perfect Victorian couple here getting photographed by Mr. H.G. Williams. And also, I think I will add also this to this here um, project. I still don't know when or where I lack space. I think it is all, guys, for this first and only for now <clears throat> vlog of 2021 season. I hope to get well soon because right now I have a terrible voice. And I have an absolutely sore throat, <coughs> so <coughs> excuse once again my voice, I'm losing my voice, so uh, let's end this video right here, please don't forget to subscribe, comment and give thumbs up, thank you for watching, thank you for bearing my absolutely awful English and my cold, and if you wish, see you next time.